Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So late last year, Microsoft announced that they would extend Windows 10 support for three more years after the 14th of October next year, 2025, because as I mentioned in that video, which I'll leave uh, in the end screen, Microsoft had announced that if you are an individual consumer or an organization who elects to continue using Windows 10 after support ends in October 2025, you will have the option of enrolling your PC in the Paid Extended Security Updates ESU program. Now go check that video out if you would like some more information. But just to let you know now that if you want to carry on receiving security updates on Windows 10, if you are in an organization, Microsoft has now announced over on their official blog post um, what they are going to be charging organizations and enterprises now for the extended security program for Windows 10. Now at this stage, there is no mention um, of what I would consider to be your average home user or regular customers, which would be um, home users. This is focused at corporations and enterprises, but nonetheless, according to Microsoft, um, if you are in an organization, the long and the short of this is that they will charge customers $61 per year for one computer, which I personally think is a little bit extreme. And as mentioned, the program will run for three years. And here's a bit of a catch, though, that if you are planning to join the ESU program later, you will have to pay for the previous period. So the long and the short of this is that, um, as an example, if you uh, started to get the ESUs from year two, as an example, then you'll have to pay for year one as well. So basically, if you decide to stay on Windows 10 using the ESU, Extended Security Updates Program, you are going to have to pay the full price as an organization. Now, just to break this down a little bit more in detail, uh, if you find yourself affected in an organization and you are wanting to run Windows 10 three more years after support ends in October 2025. So as mentioned, um, the price per device, the license will be $61.00. And apparently, Microsoft says will be activ activated with the five by five activation method. So, what what will happen in this case is you'll down download an activation key and apply to individual Windows 10 devices that you've selected for your ESU program. Now, something else to take note of: there's two uh, things just to be aware of. That Microsoft says that. They will be offering Windows 10 ESUs for free to those companies that use Windows 10 devices to access Windows 11 cloud PCs through Windows 365 as the license will be included in the Windows 365 sub subscription with no additional cost. And the second thing is um, organizations using a Microsoft cloud-based update management solution such as Microsoft Intune or Windows Auto Patch can get a 25% discount as part of a special offer According to Microsoft, this license will cost $45 per user, up to five devices per, for one year. Now, if you want more info and you want some more um, in-depth information, I'll leave the blog post down in the description if you are an organization or a company that's affected and would like to carry on using the, the extended security updates program uh, for three more years. Now, something to take note of, Microsoft says, and I'm quoting, they say that Extended security updates are not intended to be a long-term solution. So obviously they are trying to push companies over to using Windows 11, but rather a temporary bridge. They say that ESUs do not include new features, non-security fixes, or design change requests. So you're not going to get any bug fixes. You're not going to get any new features, tweaks, or adjustments. It's just plainly security updates if you are in an organization. They carry on to say that the ESU program does not extend technical support for Windows 10. Technical support is limited to the activation of the ESU licenses, installation of ESU monthly updates, and addressing issues that may have been caused due to an update itself. So a little bit of important information there. According to Microsoft, all you're getting for $61 per year is your security updates and nothing else for three years. And as mentioned at this stage, no mention for your average home user or your regular customers. So obviously, I'll keep um, my eye on this one. And if Microsoft um, announces this at a later stage, which I think they will, where they give us details about prices and so on for home users, regular customers, so to speak, 
obviously I'll post and keep you guys in the loop. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.